The Ministry of Defense has entered cost negotiations for 48 heavyweight torpedoes to equip the Indian Navy's Calvary class submarines, marking a pivotal upgrade in India's undersea warfare capability. Italy's Whitehead Alenia Systemi Subaquay Black Shark and France's Naval Group F-21 are competing for the Rs. 2,500 to 3,000 crore tender, emphasizing technology transfer and local manufacturing under Atmanurba Bharat. Both torpedoes offer over 50 kilometers range and advanced stealth features, with deliveries expected by 2027. The deal will fill a critical capability gap until DRDO's indigenous heavyweight torpedo becomes operational by 2030, bolstering deterrence in the Indian Ocean region. India will begin constructing its next-generation S-5-class nuclear ballistic missile submarines in late 2027 under direct PMO supervision. Nearly twice the size of the S-4-class, the 13,500-ton SSBNs will feature 16 SLBM tubes, MIRV-capable K-6 missiles, and a 190-megawatt nuclear reactor. Initially, for subs are planned in two phases, boosting India's underwater nuclear deterrence. The first S-5 is expected to be fully operational by 2036, strengthening India's strategic edge in the Indo-Pacific. With only six aging IL-78 MKIs in service, the Indian Air Force plans to induct 18 to 22 aerial refueling aircraft to sustain extended operations. Stopgap leases a US KC-135 from Matria and a French A330 MRTT bridge gaps, ahead of a new $3 to $4 billion tender. Airbus A330 MRTT and Boeing KC-46 Pegasus lead evaluations, emphasizing multi-role capability, life cycle support, and Indian offsets, critical to IAF's Vision 2047 for sustained regional air dominance. Tyra Valor based startup in Light Helicopters Private Limited is preparing for a flight demo with the Indian Army to showcase its unmanned cargo helicopter capable of carrying 70 kilograms at 200 kilometers per hour. Powered by a fuel engine with 3 hour endurance and 500 kilometers range, the autonomous R3 model promises rapid intercity logistics and tough terrain supply. With 70% indigenous content, certification, and operational rollout, are expected by mid-2026, marking a major leap for India's UAV sector. After the success of Operation Sindor, the Indian Air Force plans to expand its fleet of Prelay short-range ballistic missiles, with 120 units already being inducted, and another 100 to 200 likely to follow. Developed by DRDO and built by BDL, Prelay can carry 500 to 1,000 kg warheads over 150 to 500 km, striking targets like bunkers and runways with high precision. Valued at Rs 4,000 crore, the missile boosts India's deep strike capability and export potential to nations like Armenia and Vietnam. The Ministry of Defense plans to build India's largest airbase in Kajaraho, transforming the UNESCO heritage town into a major IAF hub. Spanning 1,000 acres, the base will support fighter jets, transport aircraft, and advanced training facilities. Chosen for its flat terrain, dry weather, and low population, Kajaraho offers ideal operational conditions. The project will boost India's central air power, ease pressure on western bases, and inject rupees 5,000 to 10,000 crore into the local economy. India's army has told domestic drone and loitering munition makers to add GPS-denied navigation or be barred from future deals. After August 2025's Operation Sindor and September EW trials with 46 vendors, most systems failed under jamming, only a few like Idea Forge ZOLT, Armed with Zeus Numerix payloads, aced using visual odometry, onboard AI, and inertial navigation. All bids for the Rs 25,000 crore UAV program must now be GPS denied certified, 
to ensure resilient autonomous battlefield drones. In a major boost to Atmanirbhar Bharat, the Indian Army's Northern Command and Tata Motors unveiled Strike One, a rugged, multi-role military vehicle based on the Yoda 2.0 pickup. Showcased in Uthmapur, it offers a two-ton payload, for by 4 drivetrain, and reinforced chassis for high-altitude, off-road missions. Designed for troop transport, logistics, and quick reaction roles, the Strike One promises cost-effective, homegrown mobility, targeting 500 units for induction, and strengthening India's defense self-reliance. As global demand rises for affordable 4.5-generation fighters, India's Tejas MK2 is gearing up to rival Sweden's Gripen E. With a 2025 rollout and 2026 first flight, the MK2 offers higher payload 6.5 tons versus 5.3, longer range and lower costs, $75 million versus $90 million, while the Gripen leads in operational maturity and global footprint, Tejas leverages at Minerva Bharat, UTAM AESA radar, and potential co-production deals to woo buyers in Asia, Africa, and Latin America, aiming for 200-plus domestic orders and $10 billion exports by 2030. Hal hopes to turn Tejas MK2 into India's first true global fighter success. As GS F414 engine deal faces prolonged transfer of technology hurdles. Francis Safran has stepped forward with its M88 T-Rex, a 90 kN modular engine, that could evolve to 120 kN, aligning with both Tejas MK2 and AMCA needs. The move positions Safran as a strategic fallback, offering lighter weight, better fuel efficiency, and proven Rafaeli heritage. While HAL remains committed to GE's $1 billion pact, Safran's bridge offer promises 60% local manufacturing and future scalability, reinforcing India's quest for engine sovereignty under Atmanirbha Bharat and ensuring propulsion resilience through 2035. That's all for today. Hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe for daily news updates. Thanks for watching.